welcome back everybody today we're going to be talking about another perk in fallout new vegas and this is a perk that kind of made the rounds when i did my top 10 quality of life perks in fallout new vegas and this one does have good reason to potentially be on that list the perk that i'm referring to is weapons handling this one is a perk that is in the base game you have to be level 16 in order to get it and the only other requirement is that you have to have less than 10 strength this will give you two more strength when it comes to strength requirements on weapons. This is not a permanent two strength buff. Actually, in that case, it would actually be really good because it would be really strong on a melee build or an unarmed build. What this one can do is if you add eight strength and you wanted to go up to 10 strength, at least for weapon purposes, you could take this and you would get 10 strength. Now this brings up the question, is this a good perk or not? And I would say for the most part, it is a good perk, but it's not an amazing perk. And I'm gonna try to kind of explain my reasoning and to why I don't think it's one of the best perks in the game. However, it can be pretty good on certain builds. So first let's address which builds this is not really that great with. I would say the two main builds of this one is not really that great with are unarmed and melee. The main reason why is because just having more permanent strength would be better for both of those builds as opposed to just having weapons handling. That's not to say that this couldn't be useful with them, but it's not gonna be as useful as it would be on some of the other uh, weapons classes, potentially. The next build that it wouldn't be as good on is if you're doing a themed build and you already know ahead of time which weapons you're going to be using. This kind of goes for any sort of build. If you know which weapons you wanna be using, then you don't necessarily need to spec out for the most amount of strength. Uh, you just need enough to actually wield the weapons. So if you're gonna be using like the Silent 22 as your primary weapon, this one really doesn't help you because you can already use it at any strength level. It also won't really help you if you're going for a low strength build with weapons that don't have high strength requirements like All American or the Service Rifle or even something like the uh, Gobi Scout Rifle which only requires six. The main build that this one can really help for is just going for a Jack of All Trades build. You're just trying to get enough points to get whatever perks you are. Maybe you're trying to get a bunch of different perks so that you can use whatever weapons you would like. And maybe this one will help so that you can buff up your strength. Now, this one isn't as good with some exceptions. The main exception being if you're gonna go to Old World Blues and you plan on completing that DLC completely, because by the end of it, you can get the Reinforced Spine perk, which gives you a permanent two strength. It's actually technically a temporary two strength but it's only temporary so long as you have the uh, reinforced spine in. If for whatever reason you want to switch to the synthetic spine, then you get plus one strength, in which case you also don't need as high a strength requirement. So if you plan on going up to, let's say, seven strength at the very start of the game, that's the max amount of strength that you actually need because you'll get plus one from the implants that you can buy in New Vegas, and then you'll get plus two from the uh, reinforced spine, giving you a total of three points so you can go up to 10. You can also think of this working backwards towards whatever weapon you want to use. So let's say you just want to use up to the 50 cal. At that point, you only need to get up to five strength because you can have five strength plus one will get you up to six from the implant plus two from the reinforced spine, you go up to eight and in which case you wouldn't actually need to invest any more strength into your build at all. So that means that weapons handling will only really help if you plan on only having, let's say, five strength, so that you can go all the way up to 10 strength with all the other stuff that we've talked about, and that way you can use any weapon that you would like, or if you plan on having very low strength and you just need this to use certain weapons that you plan on using. Let's say you're going with one strength, you get potentially plus three from all the other stuff, so you go up to four strength, and this will let you get up to six strength, which will let you use the majority of weapons in the game. So just a short video today, I just kind of wanted to explain my thoughts on weapons handling, why it didn't make the list of the top 10 uh, useful perks. It is still a nice quality of life perk though. Like I said, if you're going with a low strength build, it's not a bad option at all, uh, especially if you're shooting for a very specific build, like I said, going for exactly the 50 cal or just going with one strength and trying to get up to maybe six strength that could be useful too. So tell me your thoughts on weapons handling down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it because this perk does come up pretty often and most of the time I don't really see anybody really complaining about it or really saying that it's a bad perk, just that it's a potentially situational perk and I would generally agree with that, but there was some confusion in some of the comments on the other video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.